Hi everybody, Julie from Art of You. A slightly different setup today, and you get to see my very messy studio. Uh, but today I'm gonna be work I'm gonna be working standing with a standing camera. Uh, so we can paint much larger. Um, and it saves my neck from bending over at the desk. So anyway, I hope you enjoy today. This is part one of Mountsburg Dam. Let's go. This is the original photograph that I took, uh, Mount mm -hmm. Lake. So it's a little island at the other end of the lake. Uh, at the moment, it's actually a attached to landmass because the water level is so low. Um, so this was taken um, about November when I was on my kayak. And, um, and I really loved this place. So I wanted to turn it into a painting. Um, but I have um, very much simplified and stylized the photograph because I didn't want that level of detail and I've done it in my kind of favorite style my kind of group of seven simplified kind of blobby style so if you think about the one we did last week was the Lauren Harris very simplified down mountains um, this is going to be kind of a level up with a little bit more detail but nowhere near as much detail as if we were going to do realism um, so we're going to do this in steps. So anybody who's done my um, kind of group of seven process before, we start with a red canvas. Then we use thin down black or brown or any dark color, whatever you've got on your palette, if you're using a paint. Um, so a thin down dark color to sketch out the main subjects within the picture. Then we use um, black paint or again, dark paint, a little bit thicker um, to look at where all of our dark areas are. Then we're going to put in all of the whites and then we're going to build up the picture color by color. Um, so it's very much a step by step process. Um, so I um, envisage this will take us two sessions as it normally does. Um, but I find this type of paint and some people are super fast and some people are like more of a normal speed. So if you've done a lot of this style of painting, you might find it a little bit quicker than a regular style painting. The only difference with this is we do cut in around the shapes because whereas the other style we build up in layers. So it's layer by layer. This, the um, the actual design is already going to be there. So then we're cutting in around our design. But don't worry if um, you paint over your guidelines because we can just put them back in. It's more, we do the guidelines to kind of familiarize ourselves with the position and of everything. Um, so I think you'll find this fairly, fairly straightforward. Um, our shapes are quite simple. Um, so if you, so we're gonna start with our red canvas. I'm gonna just check mine's dry because I painted it this morning. Um, so we're going to need a dark, thin down paint, so quite watery. If you don't want to sketch it out with paint, you can sketch it out with pencil or pencil crayon. Um, I would avoid Sharpie because it's hard to paint over. But if you would rather sketch it out with chalk or, you know, anything else, then that's fine too. I'm going to be using thin down paint because I find it easier to paint over. Okay, so um, I'm just going to check my canvas is dry. Then I'm gonna switch cameras and we'll go from there. So this is a black and white version of the photograph. And this is quite useful when we are doing this kind of group of seven style to start with a black and white photograph because it really helps see where our darkest areas are. So let's have a little look at this together. Where would you say are perhaps the three or four darkest areas so if you're thinking about value scale where white is zero and nine is black where would all our number nines be on this picture okay so i'm gonna go roughly um just past a third of the way and then with regards to here it's about halfway up and that's why I use thin down paint because it's kind of easier to 
to wipe off if I have a little loose. So we're just doing shapes to start. So let's speed this up a little bit. Um, feel free to um, pause the video if you need to. And uh, this should help you understand the steps of preparing an underpainting. Step two is to identify all of your darkest areas using thicker black paint, whereas before we used watered down black paint, now we're going to use fully concentrated black paint.
last step for this week is to add all of our brightest, lightest areas using white paint. This will complete our underpaint and ready for us to paint the colours on next week. Well, after we've done all of our white paint, um, let's take a break for next week. And I can't wait to paint with you again for um, our second session of Mountsburg Dam, which is part of Mountsburg Lake in Flamborough, Ontario. Take care.